Hey guys, hello, hello. It's Darling My Chocolate Tour. What is today? <laughs> it is Thursday. Happy Thursday. I know. The week has gone by so fast, hasn't it? I th yeah. I just can't believe it is almost Valentine's Day already. And before we know it, it will be St. Patty's Day and then it'll be Easter. It just it is flying by so fast. So um, we are not doing the leaning ladder. I said we'd do the leaning ladder today. I'm sorry, guys. I just um, did not have everything ready. So we are doing this project. <laughs> How fun is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so cute. So this was in my early bird pack, um, I think. I think it was in the early bird pack. I'm. You know what? It was either that or from um, leadership. So probably early bird. Anyways, how adorable is this? And later on, we'll make this sign and we'll we'll cut the little pies out. But for right now, we're gonna put this onto this cute little sign that hangs. It hangs from this um, this pulley. And I have had these. You guys that know me know I've had these for three years now. So I got these at um, Hobby Lobby three years ago when I first started doing chocolate tour. And I bought I think, 24 of them. <laughs> I think I have one or two left. So we're going to put Happiness is Homemade. And then we're going to put this. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of trying to decide. Do I want to put a border at the top? I'm thinking that I want to put a border at the top and at the bottom. Um, because I think that would look balanced. I'm trying to figure out if that would be the, the right way to do it. Um, and I'm thinking that I'm only going to do like three, three rows of this. That's my thoughts. <laughs> what do you guys think? Either that, or I do four rows and four rows. Um, I don't want you to be too busy. I like there to be some empty space in between. So I'm kind of thinking that I want to do um, three rows and three rows. And I usually start, I do the full rows. Can you see how, see how this is just a partial row? I will start with the full rows. It's going to have more color on it. Um, I would do that. Um, so I would just tape it off. Anyways, help me, help me decide. I think I should do three and three. Do you think I should do three and three or four and four? You know what? I don't even have my stir sticks. Darlene is not ready. <laughs> Where are my stir sticks at? Let me find some. I guess I'm using my fingers this morning. How is everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome. Welcome to Hot Mess Thursday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know I have some in here somewhere. In my little um, thing down here. Well, I found three. <laughs> I found three. So yeah, it's just been, um, been such a busy week and we're going to have a sale this weekend. So my daughter-in-law started pulling out all of, and there's not much left of this, but it doesn't take a lot. Remember <laughs> she pulled out all the size C transfers. So we're going to have a sale, um, on Saturday for size C transfers. So it'll be only be size C. So she's starting to go through those and, um, there's hundreds and hundreds, guys. <laughs> All right, let me pop you up to myself so I can say good morning and we can get on our way. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, I'm Darlene Brown. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Tour. We're going to do this fun sign. It is so darn cute. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be adorable. I might have to keep it. <laughs> but I do have a craft show coming up. I My craft show, I'm hoping some of my new stuff will be here by then. I'm not guaranteed. It can take up to two weeks. To get your product yeah you can they're they're hoping to go through the orders faster than that like in a week and then shipping shouldn't take too long because i'm just two states over uh, anyways i hope i have it for my next crop show i set up on not this saturday but the next and then the show doesn't start till that next thursday so i probably have time to bring more product in <laughs> anyways happy thursday i have my cute shirt on that says every day is a fresh start so if you mess up today, tomorrow's a fresh start. <laughs> so let's just, um, let's go back down to our project. This is a cute project. Um, did anybody get this? Did anyone order this? <laughs> or you will now, you will now that I, that I make it, right? <laughs> Cause I'm going to make it so darn cute. We're going to add our Buffalo fun with it. So good morning guys. Let's see who's here. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Tina. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for sprinkling, Tina. I appreciate it. Hello, Kat. Hi, Kimber. Hello, Myra. 
Hi, Karen Momonko. Hi, Lori. Thanks, Rebecca. Appreciate it. Hi, Terry. Good morning, Margarita. Yes, top and bottom. Yep, I think so too, Betty. Hi, Sandy. I <laughs> yeah, I think this will be really pretty. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Patty. Three rows. Okay, yeah, I think so too. I think three. I think three is going to be perfect. Hi, Nancy. Thanks, Michelle. Hi, Myra. Hello, Janice. Hello, Kayla and Norny. Hi, Billy. I know, Patty, I can't wait for my order to get here too. I feel really lucky that I have some of these because this is from our um, our early bird. So when we went to leadership, we were allowed to order the early bird. That just means that we get to have our hands on a few of the transfers ahead of time. Okay, I think that what I need to do is get my buffalo plaid on there first so that I can center this. I'll do this second, okay? So let's do the buffalo plaid first. It's the messy part anyways. So I am thinking, here's what I'm thinking. I want blue to stand out. So my buffalo plaid is going to be blue. Um, this is my colonial blue. And I think that will look really good. I've done it like that before. <laughs> I love the color combination. So um, I think it'll be really cute. Okay, so I'm just going to peel my, my transfer off my backer sheet. And this buffalo plaid has been used a lot. A lot. So... I am going to see how is it going to center the best. I usually try to get it so that it's centered and then I'm going to get this right up in there. It's not always easy to have your, your design be right up next to something like this. So I am not going to worry if I, if I don't get it right up in the corners, I am not going to cry. <laughs> Darlene is not going to fuss and, and you know, we don't, we just, we do the best we can, right? We do the best we can. All right, so, and then I'll start with a different one down here so that I don't have to worry about lining it up and having it already have chalk paste on it. So I'm gonna do that. So it starts with, starts with the full row, the row that has um, full squares and slash squares. And then I'm going to take that off so that we only do part of that. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. Oh, hi, Hulk. <laughs> is Miss Jill, Miss Jill is um, letting you watch this morning. All right. Hi, Hulk. How are you, Carter, a.k.a. AKA Carter? <laughs> that is cute. Hulk, I used to love that show. I used to. I used to love it. So, and my, my boys, too. Okay, so I'm just going to tape that. That is just going to make it so you just do that one area. Okay, everybody see what I'm doing? I'm just taping it off. Hi, Margarita. <laughs> I know, it is a cute surface. This surface was from, from Hobby Lobby. If you find surfaces and you do craft shows, you should pick up a couple of them. <laughs> because... You know, you might want to have another one, like you make it for the craft show and you go, oh, that sold really well. And you go back and that surface is gone. So I always try to get sale items, always. I don't like to pay full price when I am getting stuff for my craft shows because you want to have the best um, profit margin <laughs> possible. So always try to get sale items. Um, you can't always wait though. One thing that I don't wait for is when I am getting my beads for my kits, I can't wait. I go to I go to Hobby Lobby and I shop out of their bins. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, those that have been with me, Sue and Melissa know what that means. That means that Darlene goes down the rows while they are putting out their stuff out and I shop in the bins before they're even out on the shelf. <laughs> so I am one of those that does not have a problem with opening up a bin and grabbing out what I need, which is funny because they probably go to do their display and go, I know I should have 24 of those um, strings of, be of the beads, <laughs> the painted beads, and they don't have any because Darlene took all 24. <laughs> so, so yeah, I do, I will pay full price on stuff like that because I know that it'll be gone um, if I wait. But things like this, surfaces, you can get them inexpensively um, you can wait until they have them on clearance. Okay, so we should have, it should be pretty good. Remember, buffalo plaid is not always perfect. And we don't cry and fuss if it's not. Um, we're just going to peel it up and it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. So it looks pretty darn good so far. Looks good so far. There's some little oopsies. It doesn't matter. 
because buffalo plaid is rustic, right? <laughs> so buffalo plaid is meant to be rustic. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm not going to worry if it gets on my surface because it's water soluble and I can clean it off. So I'm just going to go to my next area down here and do the same exact thing. And um, yep, so I'm just going to line up that bottom. My head's probably going to get into the thing here. I'm trying to get it down so that um, I don't have any of that next line. And I need to center this. Oh, I want to center it like I did the other one. Okay, so I want to try to have it centered the same and down. Okay. Yeah, buffalo plaid can be tricky, but you know what? It's okay. Buffalo plaid is not meant to be perfect. If you look at buffalo plaid on many things, it is really rustic. <laughs> and sometimes my buffalo plaid is really rustic, and that's okay. That's okay. So don't worry about those things. Don't go, oh my gosh, I can't get it perfect. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? <laughs> it is what it is. It's homemade. That is what I love about it. It's homemade. So, okay, so I'm going to tape off this part here. I didn't want to peel that up because it did have um, my, it did have paint on it, or, or chalk paste on it. So I'm just going to tape this off here, and then we'll do this part, okay? So don't, don't sweat the small stuff, guys. And like I tell you, it is all small stuff in life. Yeah, this is the small small stuff. <laughs> this is not the big stuff. Okay, we need to, um, I need to ask you for prayers. I had um, Kim Vernon reached out to me. Her husband had a stroke yesterday. And we need to, um, I posted on my pages, we need to pray for her husband um, that he will, he will have a full recovery and that the doctors will be able to take care of his needs. Um, it's, you know... Things just keep happening, and they will, and that's life. But anytime that you need prayers, I'm here for you, okay? I'm your prayer girl. <laughs> if you don't, if, if you just want people to send you good thoughts, I'm there too, okay? You just tell me. So um, I, I will always, always, always um, reach out to people. If you, if you need prayers, that second, that second. All right, <laughs> you just you just send me a message and I will post it on the page and we will start praying. And that is what we do. We are there for each other. If you don't pray, then send good thoughts. We, we don't care, um, you know. Not everybody prays. Um, not everybody worships the same. That's okay because, you know what, we are sisters here. We are a family. <laughs> and we don't, we do not look down on each other. We love each other. We hold each other up. And we are there for each other. So um, lots of prayers for Kim Vernon's husband. And he was admitted to the hospital um, last night. Um, had had a stroke. And um, that's all I know right now. Okay. So that is all I know. And I know that I'm making a mess too. Oh my goodness. I'll have to wash that off my fingers. <laughs> so make sure that you are chalking this. And getting this pulled before it dries on your transfer. Okay. Don't talk too much. Um, don't fuss too much over it. Make sure that it's on there and then you remove the excess and then you peel that off of there. Okay, it's time to peel it. Despite having stuff all over my fingers, it is time to peel this and see what we have. And it looks pretty darn good. <laughs> it looks pretty darn good for buffalo plaid and I am not going to cry over it. Now, I will remove this before I put it in the sink to wash it. I'll take that off. <laughs> okay, so let me just... Let me just get my fingers clean, guys. I'm just going to grab a Clark's wipe and wipe my finger. My Clark's wipe, I keep forgetting to close them. I have to add some water to it. <laughs> so I'm going to get my fingers cleaned up. I'm going to get my board cleaned up because I did get some on my board. I knew I would. And it's water soluble, so you can clean, clean, clean. And then we'll dry this. And then I'm going to I'm gonna read comments here. So, oh, thank you, Norny. You always have the best prayers. You do. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you, guys. We are there for each other. Hi, hi, Sarah. Spent the last six days watching your grand, your granddaughter, so you, so their parents could take a little vacation. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. You are such a sweetheart. I, you know what? My parents were really good about taking my kids in the summer. <laughs> so that was really nice that they did that. Aww. Well, Jill, we say hello back to Hulk. <laughs> what a cutie pie. What a cutie pie. Uh, thanks for all the prayers, guys. I know um, Kim is not going to be watching because 
she is at the hospital um, with with hubby and I think that they're letting her in um, but you know I'm not 100% sure she just said I won't be watching tomorrow but I would love for prayers and so that's what we do we pray for each other okay I'm gonna dry this really quick and you can see it changing color as it dries okay you can see it changing from a wet chalk face to a kind of like a matte finish and when it's completely dry it's not going anywhere you don't have to do anything with this I'm going to dry this too because I wiped that and I might need to wipe it one more time it's kind of scary so I'm going to wipe the center and dry it again you see it changing Okay, there's like a smear here, and that is going to bug me if it is there, and I sell that, and I'm at a craft show, and I can see the smear on there, so I'm just going to put a little more elbow grease into that and get that off of there, and then I'll dry it. <laughs> so I just didn't press hard enough. Okay, see? There was still some on there. It's blue. Okay. <laughs> this is such a cute one. I love this one. I know, Lordy, we are. We are a big family. Aww. For sure. Okay. Now, you don't want it to be hot when you put your transfer down. Because if it is, then you're going to have a problem. So, I want to make sure that's all dry. Because I'm probably going to touch it. And I don't want to touch it and have it messed up. So, I love farmhouse. You know, I was kind of hoping for cows, pigs, and chickens, but, um, yeah, I didn't get them. Why didn't I get cows, pigs, and chickens? Okay, this is just going to be centered in here. So, happiness is homemade. Let's write it on the back. It's actually, it says a slice of happiness. So, that's the name of this, a slice of happiness. Now, the reason that we write it on the back, and you guys, I am not good about doing this every single time. But we write it on the back because our transfers are reusable. You can use these over and over, and you want to make sure you put your transfer back on the right side. Okay, I don't need to fuzz this because this is a plasticky surface, and it's not going to... I want it to stick really tightly. It's not going to stretch it. Um, it's not going to do anything weird. I'm not going to fuzz it. I'm going to fold my corners under. And I have a little string right there. Um, I'm going to fold my corners under so it's easy for me to peel it up. If you don't do that, that's fine. And it does not hurt your transfer to do that. So now I'm just gonna center it. Oh, that actually looked really good. Okay. I centered it, centered it close enough. <laughs> and then we're gonna have our little pie. So to me, um, this, this pie part, you know, the pie's gonna be black on this surface. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a crust color. That's just, it's just gonna be a crust color that's on there. Um, that is all that I can do because the pies are, the background's gonna be black. And that's okay. I'm not worried about that, we just want the effect. Okay, so I want to do um, my happiness, um, and then let's see, okay, I'll do red. I'm gonna do my words in red. So I wanted red in here. Happiness is homemade. So this I'm gonna do in my dune. This is dune, so I have candy apple red, I have my colonial blue, dune and camel okay so i'll do this in camel i want these to be in red all right so let's do our words and then we'll peel it and then we'll do our cute little pies oh, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of hot mess this together um i'm gonna do the best i can to make it look like pies <laughs> i'm not gonna fuss and fuss over the fact that it's not gonna be perfect um you know it is what it is um we're, when we cut the pies out, we can make them look more like pies, okay? So I'm not going to stress that um, it's not a perfect pie. It is a sign that's going to be on a wall, and it'll be fine. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Okay, so happiness is homemade. Just going to spread that. And I got way too much chalk paste. Darlene, you don't need that much. Remember, it doesn't take that much. <laughs> so put your excess back in the jar. So you're just silk screening. So you're pressing that through that silk screen to your surface below. And um, the excess goes back in your jar. It doesn't take much at all. Okay. Just remember to work quickly so that your chalk paste doesn't dry on there. You're going to chalk and peel, chalk and peel all the way down your um, transfer. 
So I'm gonna do those little lines right there with my Dune, just to have a little bit of that color in there. Okay. So that is Dune. It's just kind of an off-white. <laughs> it's like my light buttermilk, okay? So it kind of ties it in with the frame. And then we're gonna peel it down and we're just gonna go slow. I kind of think that I didn't get the bottom of the H. Okay, so peel it slowly so you can see if you need to lay it back down and fix anything. Okay, the bottom of these letters here, but they are kind of rusty. So they have those little cross hatches. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be that way. Okay, so I'm just going to peel that up. I think the S's are supposed to be that way. I don't know, let me go over it one more time. There, There is a lot of rusticness on this. I kind of think it's supposed to be that way. But I'll go over it one more time and see, see if it does any different. It has those little marks in it. I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. Okay, so there we go. And the white part, I might just go over that one more time. Make sure it's all through my screen. Okay, looking good, guys. What do you think? <laughs> it is looking super good. You can do any colors you want. You can do black and white. That would be, you, you could do whatever, whatever you want. Um, this would be cute just with a black surface and just all white. Um, you can do it any way that you want. <laughs> so, okay, now we're just going to hot mess this. Honestly, I just um, want to get these pies, um, the color of pie, okay? So we're just going to kind of put the colors in here. Um, later on, I might go back and add some dimensional pies on top of this. Um, that's something that we're going to cut out, but Darlene doesn't have it ready. <laughs> There's just so much going on, guys, honestly. And I I tasked my daughter-in-law with getting the, the transfer sale ready. So she has, she's been um, doing her inventory and assigning numbers to them. And she's up to number 84. So there's at least 84 different ones. And there's multiples of almost all of them. One, a few of them, there might be just a few, you know. Okay, so I think at this point, I'm just going to start mushing together and creating my pie. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're doing a hot mess pie this morning. <laughs> I wonder what hot mess pie tastes like, guys. <laughs> Does anybody else in life make hot mess pie? <laughs> What's your worst pie you ever made? I I can probably tell you some of mine. I was baking for my uncle. And I he he didn't have time. His family, well, his wife didn't have time because my auntie had so many kids and they just, they needed some Christmas stuff. And so I was like, oh, I'll do Christmas baking. I was in high school and the pies turned out terrible, but he loved it. You know, they just loved having anything. Okay, I'm going to peel it up slowly in case I have to lay it down and fix anything. But we're going to see, we're going to see what my hot mess pie looks like. Look at that. Do I want to waste that? I cut, I'm like so tempted to just put it back in there because it's so close and just mix it in. Okay, don't tell anybody. I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix it in because it's so close in color. <laughs> I would never really do that, but it was really close in color. Okay, so don't mix your colors like that. Don't do what Darlene just did. <laughs> okay, we're going to peel this up. Let's see what we have. Do we have some hot mess pies? Oh, look at them. They look good. They look good, guys. And look how easy that was. <laughs> Don't you want to make some hot mess pie? <laughs> it is so cute. It's so darn cute. I love the detail. It is perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and this is just going on my backer sheet. I just plop it onto my backer sheet. Um, this side to put it on is the shiny side. <laughs> so, what's your favorite kind of pie? Hi, Jill. How are you? Great. Um, Sue says she's so bad at pies. They would all be hot mess pies. <laughs> to Angela, worst pie that was the key lime, key lime pie. Forgot the gelatin, gelatin so ended up key lime soup. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. That's hilarious. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Hi, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, I hope you're doing better. You, uh, you have been, amazed me at your recovery. Debbie recently had a surgery and oh my gosh, she is just... She's just up and at it and ready to get back to life. I am so happy for her. So, so happy. Um, Debbie, we, we talked about your lady passing and pray, we prayed um, the other day 
So just so you know, um, we were thinking about you and we did talk about, we did talk about you <laughs> the other day. So what do you think? You guys like my hot mess pies? <laughs> I love these. And how easy was that? This did not take that long at all. This will be super cute. I'll be taking this to my craft show. Um, I can always make myself another one. I think I have one more, one more surface like this. I'll have to look and see. But um, cute, cute surface. Keep your eye open for cute surfaces like that because you know what? They're perfect for this. This is going to hang uh, from the little, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up. It hangs from this. Let me, let me put you up to myself for a second. <laughs> so just like this. Isn't it cute? Super duper cute. It just hangs from the pulley. Yeah, yeah, really cute. Um, this was from Hobby Lobby three years ago. Okay, you're not going to find it. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to do stuff that I have on the shelf because my other project wasn't ready. I promise you I'm going to do it, but um, I wasn't ready to do the St. Patrick's Day leaning ladder. Um, not yet. <laughs> the, the project's ready. I just wasn't ready to do all that painting. So, um, but this was fun. How fun was this? Let's dry it and you can see the color change even more. So as you dry it, that red will darken up and turn to a, a like a matte finish. And it will be solid on here. You don't have to do anything. You do not have to seal this. It is permanent. If you want to wipe it off, you can. So say, you know, next season they come out with something I like better I can wash this off this is a great surface for that okay I think it's dry <laughs> I think it's pretty much dry I'll let I'll let it dry it will continue to dry a little bit on its own like this this is solid I can wipe it it doesn't come off on my fingers okay solid this I would gently wipe it it's still drying the pies I can tell they're still drying because they were really like a hot mess but yeah Hey, Angel, you are not late to the party, girlfriend. You can go back and watch the whole thing. <laughs> Sue says lemon meringue pie. Thanks, Jana. Um, oh, Kat, you make a homemade grape pie. That sounds that sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Dur oh, Norny. Dorothy, it wasn't the worst, but when our kids were younger, um, made dinner, had to go to the doctor. Your middle daughter made a chocolate pie, but didn't make the pie shell. Oh, that that's interesting. Oh, but didn't bake the pie shell. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I know. Aren't they so cute? They turned out so cute. All right, guys. So if you love this, give me some hearts, please. <laughs> if you don't mind throwing me some hearts or, or sharing this, I would really appreciate it. I love getting the, the word out there. And we will make, we'll make these pies as cutouts. I just didn't have time yet. I think they're super cute like this. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of detail in that. Let me see if I can bring it up. Can you see all the little tiny detail? There is tons of little detail in those. That's what you get when you use a silk screen transfer like we have, okay? When you use a stencil, you're gonna be pounds, 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 and it can be solid. You're not gonna have all that little tiny detail. That is the great thing about Chocolate Tours transfers that they have tons of details on them. They make them for us so that we can have fabulous product. <laughs> I can sell this at my craft show now. I made that in literally, I don't know how many minutes, has it been? It's been not even 30 minutes and I've been talking too. So if I wanted to do this, I could probably make two of them in 30 minutes. You could put this on a cute little picket fence sign, um, anything. Look at surfaces that you see. You can put it on a small sign. We could do, we could cut out homemade and put that on a little thing and then put pies onto blocks. Oh, we'll do that. We will do that. So that we could do that. We'll do um, homemade on a sign and then put each pie on a separate block. That'll be fun. We can do that. So there, it's endless. When you look, when you look at um, the transfers, don't just think of one thing. Think of, oh, I could put these pies here. I could put these pies there. I could put happiness or homemade or whatever. Um, you can break your transfers up and use part of it. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Did I ever have to do paste for us in the VIP? I don't know what that means. Did you ever do the paste for us in VIP? If I shouldn't have said that in here, oh, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I did a paste sale. Yeah, I did the paste sale. It was last week. Yes, ma'am, I did. So that was. Um, but there's other sales over there. Okay, so 
But yeah, I'm going to be making a big announcement over there. A big announcement. Yes, I am. So if you're not in my VIP group, you'll want to be. If you're a designer, please don't go to my VIP group. I need to make an announcement because I think some of them snuck in there. <laughs> if you're a designer, you should not be in anybody's VIP group. It's not allowed. Okay, it's not allowed. So, um, all right, guys, I'm going to go clean up my mess and I'll be on with my day. And I'm going to have that transfer sale on Friday for the most part. Probably 90% of them are retired. Some of them are ones that I didn't bring them out at all this year. Some of them we've used, but um, some of them are things that you probably have never seen if you're new. <laughs> so lots of fun stuff. All right, let me see if there's questions. Oh, it's okay, hon. You're fine. No, um, you are fine. So, all righty. Well, it's, bec it's because it was different, Norny. It, was, it wasn't that I posted colors because it's hard for me to have inventory. Things are going to change. Because I have so many people over there. I can't I can't do my sales where I have 12 of this and 3 of that and 1 of that. And have 150 people fighting over it. I can't. Because the VIP P group grew a lot. Like, like massively grew. And so I can't have all those people fighting over 12 jars. I can't. We have to do things differently. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Mwah. <laughs>